What's up, y'all? It's Dynasty. You're now tuned to In the Studio with Jay Helene. Alright, here we go. Days go by, I'm hustling for several months. I'm reaching and I'm grabbing, I'm feeling like Donald Trump. I'm talking about the vaginal, I ain't talking about elections. I'm trying to be my own president and build a campaign. Still do the dang thing, whether or not the man reigns. I still reign because I'm coming from royalty. Got a nice shorty, you might take her and spoil me. Bring it back now, you can trust her like loyalty. But every time I come around, you best believe that it's known me. D-Y-N-A to the S-T-Y, the best till I D-I-E. Best believe I be the ones coming through the wave like I'm B-I-G. But I'm just a bad boy trying to do good in the nice voice. Pull up in the nice toy. Still making like bright boys look I let my music talk for me, that's nice noise So every time I come around, I'm with the right boys Cover different choices, moving just like I'm floices Right up top of the head, homies can't get the voices I'm dipping through these choices, mind making and shaking I'm never breaking, till I'm just casting through and lacking through Freestyle on Jay Helene, in the studios, I'm backing through Dynasty <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay Haleem. I'm in the studio and I got my nephew right here, yeah. Young Dynasty. Yeah. Now, look, this is new for me. You know, it's not new for me, but it's new for in the studio having a hip hop artist in here. But um, it's so funny. A lot of people that's doing this music thing, they're not they don't, they don't have their own business, man. They're sitting around waiting on people to um, you know, put some money up for them and create their avenue for them. But he went ahead on and did his own thing. I saw his start. I saw him how he was coming through. He took some time off to, you know, get his mind right and everything and serve his country a little bit. <laughs> and he got right back to the music, man. So, and I appreciate it that, you know, he came back home and said he's going to holler at me and come in the studio and talk to me about what he's doing, man. What's going on, man? No more saying. Just so... Just drop the sauce up mixtape, you know, <laughs> the freestyle something for the holidays. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, um, I just dropped Thanksgiving, y'all. You know, go ahead and get that. It's on all the sites. You know, that piv, my mixtape, all that spin yeah. Let's Go get that. Yeah. So this is you know you know you just did that. You you know you doing it all on your own. You put mm -hmm. it all out on your own. Yeah. How does that feel, man? It just feels good because I know I have the talent and the ability to invest in myself and I don't just treat this as just a hustle. This yeah. is really something that I'm passionate about and you know, something that I really want to use and for the long run. So how how the ATL market been treating you, man? Uh, <laughs> a little crowded now. Yeah, it, it is. I mean it's 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 kinda uh, you know, eat or be eaten type of thing. Everybody <laughs> wants to eat, everybody wants it, everybody's hungry for it. But you know, you just gotta continue to separate yourself from everybody else and that's what I'm continuing to try to do. So who do you consider your competition right now, coming up? Um, I mean, I feel like I'm my biggest threat right now. Because <laughs> only I can stop myself, yeah. you know, from reaching my full potential. But, um, you know, just looking at the talent now, really, I just, I just, I'm kind of in my own space. Because yeah. I, I really feel like there's nobody doing what I'm doing right now in terms of this market and this demographic yeah. in the South. So I definitely feel like, you know, it's, the sky's the limit just for me. So what what do you say to people that you know? Because the hip hop genre is one of, out of music mm -hmm. is the one that's um, the least respected. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that? You know, um, to the critics because they think hey, it's going to be. Of course, now I said years ago, hip hop is dead. Mm -hmm. That was a, it had a bigger meaning. But with mm -hmm. this right here, you know, nobody's selling million, uh, a million records anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, um, internet is you know, allowing people to just get your music mm -hmm. any way they want to. So, you know, what, is, what what keeps you going with that, knowing that you have all these things against you? Um, f Just for me as an artist, it, it kind of just goes back to me investing in myself, knowing that I have the ability to really take this to the next level for myself. And then really it's becoming so, the game's becoming so sufficient now yeah. to where it is. You can be your own promoter, your own marketer, you know what I'm saying? You, you use the internet as a platform yeah. to get your music and stuff out there rather than paying for that service. But at the same time, in terms of the game as a whole, you know, when it went corporate and everything yeah. and the culture pretty much got fused yeah. out, you start to see the, you know, the dumbed down of cer certain musics and yeah. just that whole, 
shift of music and how it's evolved, but the game's pretty much become more self-sufficient. So kind of as an artist, it kind of works to your favor, but at the same time, you still kind of need that push. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From that label, because it's, 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 a, it's grinding and scratching out here trying to come up. So that's really what it is. You just said, you said a, a mouthful, you said needing to push. Now you chose to go indie. Mm -hmm. you, you're not, you know, pushing up on all these labels. You're not standing yeah. and sleeping outside nobody's door, beat down nobody yeah. to get your project put out or nothing like that. You putting out projects on your own. What made you go to boss rap? Well, one, you know, I don't, I never really was the type to really press press anybody for that like that. And, and two, when I think when people hear the music or when you you know you just hear me off the rip, you can really tell that I'm I'm not just the average person trying to do this or this just isn't isn't some guy who's trying to just be here and come up yeah. like this is really you know like me for me it's just really something that you know I'm looking to be the best at what I can be and continue to separate myself. And I think when people hear the music, they can really tell that hey, okay. You know, it's best for me to take it this way and invest in myself and then let the rest kind of fall into place pretty much for me. That's really yeah, I think it's respect level too. Mm -hmm. You know, when people are know that you're willing to invest in yourself, it's yeah. easier for someone else to want to invest in you. So mm -hmm. um, that's a note to y'all. Invest in yourself. Somebody else won't. Trust me. I promise <laughs> you. That's no matter what business you're doing. If you don't put your own money up, nobody else is going to put up their money for you. What I like to see is um, people take their craft seriously as another artist, you know. Um, are you always telling, you know, we talk all the time and you're saying you're traveling back and forth to the studio. You're mm -hmm. going this side of Georgia, that side of Georgia. Mm -hmm. You're in the studio, you're working and everything like that. Tell everybody about your grind, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, it's really, you know, for me... Studio time is 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 something that I think gets overlooked <laughs> and whatnot because it's not what a lot of people think. So for me, like I'm currently in a service, but I'm stationed in Valdosta and I have to travel to Atlanta just to go record. Now, granted, I could go to Tallahassee, but I mean, as an artist, you want to build rapport with like your engineers yeah. or have get start getting your sound right. So you know, I'm starting to get my niche in terms of my sound and my craft, and then it's just a constant travel back and forth. And then my manager is in Atlanta, who's my cousin and whatnot. And so it's a constant grind trying to communicate, you know, plan, organize, and strategy and build as an artist going back and forth, especially since your camp's not all in the same location. This is what I'm talking about. It's all about hard work. You know, a lot of people, you know, you think you're going to work your fingers on Twitter, yeah. Instagram, <laughs> Facebook. I, I purposely asked you that question to let the, the paint the picture of what you're doing off of social media. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Off of the internet. Cool. It's still, you know, I like that meme that say, I'm dope in real life. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. And saying, yeah. you, I'm actually really working. So when I show you that I got an album out, or I got a project out, this is what it took to get that done. Oh, yeah. And it, it, it should be respected, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's the year is coming to a close. Tell everybody what to look forward to in 2017. 2017, we're going to start dropping the visuals, more visuals um, for the All Enough of Mixtape that I dropped in May. And then the Sauce Up Freestyle Series Part 1 that I dropped in August. And Part 2, we're going to continue to get some pictures yeah. out, build a brand. Um, we're still going to be looking to do features, new music. And whatnot, but right now we kind of still want to push the the first mixtape. Kind of want to oversaturate, yeah. the, you know, the people with too much. So we just gonna look for visuals from me, um, features, and then uh, new music is still always in the works to come. Man, definitely, definitely. Now, and also, give everybody in social media how they can get a hold of you and how they can find your music. So for all inquiries, you can email me at official dot dynasty nine five at gmail dot com. Uh, my Instagram is official uh, dynasty underscore nine five. Snapchat, Fred for Perez, F R E double D four P R double Z. Twitter is at F S, capital F S underscore Dynasty nine five. Y'all heard it from him. Y'all got it from me right here in the studio. Your boy Jay Eileen. Young Dynasty here. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. No problem. Y'all gotta get that mixtape. It's Manrilla. It's all up.